Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday and welcome to another webinar in the civil infrastructure space. We can have a really good in session here today. And of course, our topic or our theme going forward for this year is BIM for smart infrastructure. In this case, we're going to be focusing on drainage design using info drainage and civil 3D. Of course, many of you are still very new, especially with info drainage. So this session is going to be the perfect session for you to attend to get your head around where it fits in, what it does, and what its capabilities. I will be your host for today's session. I am Shuei Bienus. I'm the Senior BIM Technical Specialist for Civil Infrastructure and Mining and here at Baker Baines in South Africa. Uh, that's a little bit about me on the screen, but at Baker Baines, I am involved in numerous projects involving BIM for Civil Infrastructure, Geographic Information Systems, so GIS, Reality capture, scan to BIM, drone to design, as well as VR and visualization. And of course, if you want to reach out to me directly, that is my email to abe at bakerbanes.com. So just a quick one slider on who we are and what we do here at Baker Baines. These are our three main segments that we are involved in. The biggest one being consulting, followed by education, and then of course, software and hardware. We also partner with really cool brands that help us help you design and make a better world. And those are their badges on the screen. Of course, Autodesk uh, being a big player in the BIM space, in the design space, with Leica being in the hardware, reality capture, construction uh, side of things. Clear Edge 3D, more for the point cloud geometry extraction technologies. Cool Orange from a data management perspective, as well as CAD learning for online learning on the go. So this is just a quick one slide of who we are, what we do. Of course, there's a lot more that we could tell you, but you could always head down to our website or reach out to us directly. And of course, if you're looking at segmentations, we play a lot in the building, civil infrastructure, energy, process plants, and manufacturing spaces. So now that you know a little bit about us, this is our agenda for today. So we're gonna look at BIM and civil infrastructure. I'm going to give you a quick overview onto that and why it is such a game changer, especially in the civil engineering or civil infrastructure design space. We're then going to jump in directly into our topic today, where we have a really esteemed guest that's going to be taking us through uh, info drainage and Innovise, the solutions that are available now. And there, of course, we're going to close. The closing is very important. We're going to look at the key takeaways, how we can help you. And of course, if you have any questions during the session, you don't have to wait till the end of the Q&A. You're more than welcome to use the questions chat box and fire them away and we will tackle them at the end of the presentation. So let's have a look at BIM and civil infrastructure and why it is the key to getting your project off on the right foot. Now, if you're looking on the screen, there's an infrastructure model at the center and this is all of the technologies or the integrations that can be inputs as well as derived out of this BIM process. You can see that because of the interoperability between design and construction, it makes project design, construction and operations and maintenance that much more streamlined. So whether you're dealing with roads, rail, bridges, tunnels, uh, civil sites, uh, building footprints, whatever it may be, you can design it quite systematically with parametric modeling and BIM intelligence. We also have the interoperability of geospatial data, so you can bring in your GIS data into your construction vicinity so that you do not excavate and bust a pipe where you already know it is, right? It happens a lot. Of course, the survey, reality capture, drone to design fall a big part of the basis of data aggregation, where we would form our designs on that input. And then of course, utilities, especially from an operations maintenance uh, type of scenario or viewpoint is really, really important to ensuring efficient infrastructure. Now on the right-hand side is all of the outputs that you can derive from this process. If you are lucky enough to get your hands on a automated machine guidance type of technology, you can literally import your CAD model into it. And for example, for a road, it will grade the road based on the levels in your CAD file, which is absolutely amazing. That's on the construction side. Before construction, you could actually do 4D and 5D project simulation. 
what this means is you could run clash detections you could check things out and verify if everything is correct you could solve the errors before hitting uh, the ground on site on construction so instead of picking it up while you are constructing which is a very difficult time to deal with errors because your your margin to do anything is pretty slim and it has a big impact on time cost resources and so on Cloud detection will save you all of that where you could troubleshoot your design way ahead of construction of course from there you can get accurate estimation documentation construction management uh, notes all those type of things you can derive it quite easily visualization is a byproduct of this BIM technology workflow so that you can visualize your design like you can see it there in the center of the screen so BIM for especially complex engineering solves a lot of problems from the get-go because you're working smart from the start hence our theme being BIM for smart infrastructure today we're going to be looking at the utility portion of things uh, in this case drainage uh, which you're going to be looking at very very shortly so just to summarize the advantages the data that's a part of a project when you apply BIM technologies workflows processes methodologies it is reusable meaning that you don't have to start from zero once you reach a certain milestone in the project so the data is transferable, it's interoperable, and it goes across the different phases of a project life cycle. So it breaks the silo effect. You also have intelligent design functionality from the start. So you're not working with redundant data, you're working with dynamic design. And of course, you have the power of parametric modeling. And again, as I said, dynamic design, meaning if you adjust something in the model, the corresponding views the quantities and so on update instantly. To manage that manually, quite a daunting task because you either will miss something and a revision is coming your way. Unfortunately, always picked up your construction. You also have the variety of technology to integrate, especially with the open BIM standards, IFC, uh, those type of things where you can transfer the data with its metadata attached to it. You can also create many, many design scenarios from a single base model. In the past, what we had to do is if we had to create four design options, we needed four separate design models. In this case, we have one base model and from there we can create four iterations from it, which is absolutely amazing. Data is the uh, data is king today, right? I mean, and if you have GIS data, point cloud data, whatever it may be, and if you incorporate that into your design from the start, or even later on, asset management uh, of the actual asset that you're constructing becomes much more efficient. You can also flag things quite ahead of time. And last but not least, it's the cloud computing functionality that comes as an advantage, where you could take your model, do the analysis in the cloud, and get some really good data that you the engineer or the designer can review and make the best decision so this brings us to drainage design using innovise and civil 3d we can explore the smart workflows with BIM and for that we have a highly esteemed guest Hassanain who's joining us that will be presenting on this so just a quick introduction on Hassanain he's a product specialist for innovise at Autodesk very well-rounded civil engineer and he's a technical specialist when it comes to innovative solutions now we know in south africa or in the african continent innovise is a fairly new concept and it's a new acquisition made by autodesk so Hassanin is going to actually guide us through that and take us through the portfolio that innovise provides um, in terms of his um, experience of course he has a phd in structural engineering with finite element modeling which is a really interesting topic and of course, he works with a lot of the big and small medium enterprises in the AEC sector. Okay, uh, so thank you very much, uh, uh, Shai, for the introduction. Uh, yeah, I've, as, as you said, you know, I'm a product specialist for the region, you know, for Africa, uh, as well as the Middle East and, and, and Turkey. I've been in the company also for 
uh, a couple of years and uh, I worked a lot in the uh, you know uh, AEC sector and as well as the you know the the water industry so what I look at is the water industry here at, at Autodesk uh, and I'm going to speak uh, just a bit quickly about Innovise uh, before we uh, I can highlight uh, you know the drainage design and, and what we actually uh, do uh, so this is, you know, the agenda for, for me. Um, uh, you know, there are certain things that led to this, uh, you know, to this acquisition, and um, and some of these things uh, you cannot avoid anymore. You know, there's like water scarcity uh, currently uh, everywhere. Everywhere you go, South Africa isn't uh, uh, isn't one of these countries that don't have water scarcity. Uh, you have uh, lack of access to safe sanitation. The population growth almost 200k every day uh, and uh, these usually are uh, you know in the urban areas and that creates a lot of uh, pressure on the uh, you know utility infrastructure uh, there's a climate change impact we can see this again uh, everywhere with the increase in uh, inland flooding with the uh, global losses in, 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 in flooding uh, you know uh, recently and also uh throughout uh, you know throughout the last 10 years um there's also a lot of uh, mandates to to do to do more sustainable and resilient designs and uh, and practices um and all of these we can help with as well like as as innovators you know uh, some of the problems in the age infrastructure uh, some of the mandates uh, all of these we are, uh, we are are key to us and we actually try to uh, to help with there's also um you know, an aging workforce, workforce and uh, uh, loss of talent that, does not, that doesn't say that, uh, you know, young engineers are not talented, but really you have, you know, these, uh, uh, you know, these, these experienced um, members of, of the team after three, 30, 40 years, they, they leave the company and it becomes very hard to pass on that data, pass on that knowledge. Um, and this is where we, we help with our, uh, you know, easy to use modeling and increased uh, automation uh, for the you know for the region for our region and and for South Africa itself uh, you know there are a lot of water uh, trends water problems really if you look at uh, um, can you see can you see yeah hopefully you see my my laser pointer if you look at my uh, you know on, on the left hand side really due to the global warming and climate change you get uh, an increase in, in temperature so we have two problems in fact in, in South Africa you have a scarce water scarcity problem so you you uh, you heat up the earth at the same time uh, you have more precipitation so you get more uh, uh, or, or you get more intense uh, rainfall so you get rainfall that that happens during a very, very short amount of time which leads to over flooding uh, and, and over uh, you know overpowering your infrastructure that's you know the unfortunately this is the news that we've been seeing uh the last you know the last few years uh which which you know which requires to redesign to requires to reanalyze your infrastructure and requires strong and and safe and easy to use software to to, mo to model them um there are some of other trends are here you know non-revenue non water is one of them so we have about 41 percent uh, across uh, you know the sector uh, water sector uh 40 percent of wastewater infrastructure is in critical state um and you know the dams are 20 percent lower than uh, the start of 2010 for example in, in durban so these are all of these are some of the water trends also that are uh you know that 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 are worth looking at and worth uh you know uh, preparing for and, and and trying to find solution for all of these led to the acquisition of uh of innovise uh, by autodesk so uh, at the time we were just uh, about you know, uh, 250 people we got acquired by Autodesk. We really cover the, you know, uh, water distribution, drainage design, uh, stormwater sewer, flood modeling, asset management, operational analytics. Uh, we're everywhere. We're a global company. Uh, we have some of the largest um, cities in the world using our solutions, whether that's in the US, UK, Middle East, uh, you know, uh, Australia, uh, and 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 uh, East of Asia. We're in very uh, Europe and East of Asia weren't really new. We have been developing our solutions and our engines for almost 40 years by now. Uh, and really we're looking to uh, help uh, the, the water sector in in South Africa specifically. 
uh, that's why we we have uh, you know we have contacted our partner uh, Baker and Baines, and we're trying to you know to start working together to see what problems you guys have and how we can uh, you know how we can help. We again we, comp we cover the complete water cycle, so from the source of water until you know discharging water back uh, to the environment. We really have the solutions to help you uh, design, operate, and, and manage uh, your infrastructure. So from the water treatment to water distribution, again distributing the water to the uh, you know uh, collecting the water sorry from uh, the, you know the domestic and industrial uh, sources. Uh, then, uh, you know, then discharging them back to the wastewater treatment plant. Stormwater also comes into play, which, you know, the rain as well as uh, irrigation. So all of these, you know, the networks, the, you know, the surface water, all of these we look at and, and we, we can help with. I just had these pictures around because, um, you know, I, I saw that uh, the majority of, uh, you know, those who are involved are in the road and stormwater design. And so that's the road and storm water, but uh, you know we we cover everywhere, whether it's in housing, whether it's uh, stadiums, uh, airports, uh, you know whatever we really oil and gas we really cover uh, these uh, sectors because water is everywhere and and uh, water is is almost it's going to be everything really uh, very soon. Uh, we do cover the the complete asset life cycle, so uh, that means. We don't look only at the design and hydraulic modeling, but we also look at the, uh, you know, asset management and operational and analytics, you know, uh, maintaining this infrastructure. And these two, they talk to each other. So you cannot do one without, uh, you know, without the other. And, and that's something uh, that, uh, that I don't see uh, a lot of, uh, uh, I guess, uh, water utilities or, or water sector look at. They usually have a completely separate operation team from a, from a design team. Um, our solutions they make you talk to each other, and uh, our solution will be able to connect with, you know, your your uh, sensors, your SCADA, your weather forecast. Be able to connect these together and and talk to you and uh, and, and understand what you need to do at what time. Uh, the last one of of the introductory, I guess, uh, uh, slides I wanted to show is is really we, now we with Autodesk we cover and uh, the complete. Uh, project life cycle, right? So whether it's in planning, design, build, uh, construction, O&M, we really uh, cover uh, all of that uh, together. Now, some of our solutions have already been, uh, or have already started to integrate uh, to each other. And the, the, the most, uh, the, the, the one that is completely integrated now is info drainage and uh, civil 3D. So these two solutions are integrated together they talk to each other, and, uh, and and you'll be able to uh, use you know your design from Civil 3D to 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 basically uh, do the hydraulics and info drainage. Once you finish, you you click the button, and, and it's already there. You don't need to uh, to redo your work. You don't need to uh, you know um, uh, redesign and, and do all of the you know almost 20, 30 iterations that that is common uh, to do. Now, other our other solutions are also looking to be integrated in the future and our development team is working uh, very hard on this we're one company and we're one vendor and we uh, we do this through our uh, extension or extensions in, in in the region such as uh, you know on, in uh, Baker and Bay uh, I'm going to just highlight quickly our solutions before I go to uh, info drainage just to give you uh, an idea of what we uh, of what we do so Today the talk will be about info drainage. Uh, so drainage is, is is a tool that helps you with the really design and optimization of the uh, of the network of the storm network as well as the sewer network. So it helps you design them both together in, in one uh, place. Uh, so that's that's mainly uh, what drainage design what uh, info drainage uh, does. But I will get to it uh, more uh, uh, soon. Uh, now the other solution we have here is is InfoWorks ICM. Uh, it's good to know about this solution because this solution is a is a very powerful uh, tool for modeling and analysis. So it's not a tool to design, but it's a tool to model uh, storm, sewer, and flood, uh, you know, as well as rivers together. So it's a it's a tool that will look where your water is going and it will track that. It will be able to uh, you know do things like water quality for you uh, and other things. So it's it's more of a, 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 a an analysis tool. Now, how InfoDrainage and InfoWorks ICM work together is that 
normally you start with, let's say, even before you start, for example, with your CAD, with Super TD, you import to you know, for drainage, you, you start working with Info Drainage, you do your down tripping, you finish your design, same design, you import it to InfoWorks ICM, so you can do the analysis, maybe on a larger, bigger uh, city scale uh, level, uh, and that's that's how these two, they, they work with each other, so they, they talk uh, with each other. On the uh, water distribution side, we have uh, InfoWorks DBS Pro and InfoWater Pro. This is a modeling tool uh, for the distribution, so for the water distribution, uh, system, you know, for the pressurized system, you know, it can do, you know, several things, uh, water quality, uh, pressure system demands, uh, turbidity, etc. So I'm not going to, to go into it. For these other solutions, the cloud solutions, uh, these are more of the operation solutions that we have, the digital twin solutions uh, that we have. So these, some of these solutions, they look at the structural assets. So they will uh, understand, for example, what's, you know, what, what's going to happen, what's the likelihood of failure for a certain pipe, what's the consequence of failure for a certain pipe, um, uh, when do you think you need to change it, what pipes are, uh, you know, are, are weighted to, for example, leak, uh, stuff like that. So this is more from a structural component. Um, then you have the operational analytics for uh, Info360 plan and Info360 asset. Uh, these will, will help you provide dashboards in real time, uh, talk to your uh, you know, to your network and understand uh, what's happening. Uh, you know, get the KPIs out that you want to get KPI that you want to get out, and uh, you'll be able to uh, really monitor your, uh, you know, your your network, whether it's storm or sewer or even water network. You know, so uh, th these are more for operations. But yeah, just uh, just to highlight what uh, what we actually do. Uh, so so yeah, so we'll get into uh, yeah challenges about your you know drainage design. So see that these are some of the problems that I put here for the drainage design, you know. Uh, so you need to track, uh, you know, different aspects of the drainage design. You need to create your design again, uh, and, and that's, you know, very time consuming. That's what the civil 3D uh, interpretation can, can do for us. Uh, you must demonstrate compliance. Uh, so these are the, you know, uh, this is very important because, you know, you need to, uh, you need to get your uh, design accepted uh, very timely, and very quickly. Um, and you don't need to go back and, and rechange, uh, you know, a few times. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to express information uh, for the non-technical uh, stakeholders. And the last thing is SUDS, which is uh, which is something I would like to to talk about. So just quickly about uh, about SUDS. Uh, I, I can see a lot of people know about SUDS already. Um, but uh, yeah, what, what what do we mean by SUDS? You know, sustainable drainage system. So. If you look at uh, you know uh, this uh, this graph this this small uh, you know chart here, uh, so previously we used to be designing for uh, the water quantity only. You know you control the quantity of runoff, you understand uh, you know uh, wh wh what's going in, in on the surface, where the water is headed to, you direct the water and and you know it worked on. However, with the SAS design, you really look at multiple things. You look at the water quality, you look at the uh, biodiversity, and you look at amenities. You, know, you don't look at, at one thing. And, uh, you know, sustainability is really a, a growing demand for the stormwater design. It's not always the case where, you know, you, uh, you, you'll be able to go ahead and, and, and you know, dig in and, and just change everything uh, around. There are many uses, uh, you know, uh, uh, usages and challenges that, that you, can, you can do with, with sustainable drainage uh, systems. You can even have, uh, you know, certain uh, know, tanks, certain filtration, um, a, you know, you, you can use the space better. Uh, there are a lot of things you can do with, with sustainable drainage systems. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here, but uh, really, it's it's uh, it's become uh, very important, and uh, uh, you know, uh, and and especially like in, in our regions here, uh, where where you need to use uh, the nature, you need to uh, you know uh, add basically more water to your environment. Uh, you know. Uh, and I'm going to show uh, an example uh, later to speak about such. But this is one of the uh, you know usages that, or, or one of the shifts in the uh, uh, you know basically in the industry that it's headed towards a sustainable drainage systems, with, which info drainage excels at. Okay, so as I said, you know we're moving from the traditional design to uh, the sustainable drainage. Design.
InfraDrainage is our next generation drainage design platform with a graphical interface, highly detailed suds analysis and streamlined workflows. Visualisation of blue-green corridors is possible from the outset of your design. Identifying overland flow routes helps support better spatial planning and this can be done easily by leveraging the existing topography available for a site. The graphical nature of InfraDrainage allows you to create and modify designs directly on the plan. Quicker graphical network creation helps to provide improved efficiency but also helps to ensure design suitability with other engineering disciplines as our design can be true to site on plan. By utilising manhole and pipe templates as we work, we can also ensure we design in accordance with agreed standards from the start, further helping to save time and improve accuracy. An optimised design process is at the centre of InfraDrainage. In addition to pipe and manhole design, SUDS templates can be created to make the design process quicker and more accurate, incorporating pre-configured details within your chosen structure, including under drain and overflow templates. You can see how easily you can lay out a swale or pond on plan and define connections to the previously created pipe network. Connections between structures can also be created and modified, as well as connecting inflow areas to the draining structures within your design. We're also able to modify and refine the visual layout of structures to better represent the suds across the site. Being able to see and modify this on plan alongside CAD drawings and background imagery helps to provide the user and all interested stakeholders a better understanding for the overall design and site layout. The flexibility within InfraDrainage supports you from conceptual to detailed design. InfraDrainage has been created with an intuitive interface using a modern ribbon toolbar to help guide the user through typical workflows. All the design calculators, wizards and processes you should need in one easy to use platform. Here, our network design wizard is guiding the user through the right sizing and network optimization workflow. All recommendations to the user are clearly highlighted, easy to review, and no changes will be made without user confirmation. InfraDrainage provides easy to create, customizable reporting to satisfy a range of stakeholders. A customizable report builder enables you to create template reports for easy reuse and provides the flexibility to cater for meeting regional requirements. InfraDrainage helps to add clarity around communicating your design with tabular and graphical reports being easily shared to assist in driving faster design sign-off. InfraDrainage allows you to create traditional drainage and SUDS designs from concept through to approval. See the entire design laid out graphically and produce customizable reports to meet regional requirements. I'm going to show uh, another, uh, you know, we have only have a limited amount of time today, but we'll be happy to show more, uh, hopefully, in next uh, sessions, with, you know, by contacting me, contacting Shuaib. Um, so here I'm going to show just a bit about, uh, you know, uh, the civil 3D uh, integration or the seamless uh, data exchange. Um, but I'm not going to, uh, you know, to show too much, but just a quick a quick video of, of, a, of a pipe, uh, you know, uh, uh, the pipe design that you have, for example, uh, here on uh, on uh, Civil 3D. So you know, you specify your structure. You, you wanna uh, you know, you wanna uh, see that in, in info drainage. You can import. You have a ribbon here. You can export as well, and uh, you can select uh, what uh, you know what file you, you want. You know, what, what you wanna name the file at. And then you know, bam, it's it's on uh, info drainage. So that's you know, these are uh, these are some of the things you can do. These are some of the flow paths, and then these are the, you know, some of the uh, profile uh, that you can see. And then you can start working on it. You have the connections, uh, etc. So, uh, you know, this is one of the one of the things that you can do with with uh, with the civil 3D and uh, info drainage interpolation. Uh, just this is a quick summary uh, of really uh, before I go to this case study with the SUDs. Um, and, and before and before again before I go there, let's go around another uh, uh, poll. If you can, uh, show it. 
for the civil credit, which is, I think, poll number uh, three. Sure. Yeah. Let me. I will launch that. No problem. Perfect. Yeah. Here, I just wanted to highlight again, as you know, uh, what sticks with you today uh, from today's uh, you know uh, webinar. And, and again, as I said, we can have other sessions, uh, you know, offline uh, stuff we can speak about as well. Uh, but yeah, just to highlight today. So, uh, Info Drainage helps you design optimized and optimized conventional as well as sustainable drainage uh, design and as well as uh, you know sewer so you can do them uh, both together you ensure your drainage uh, design is fully compatible uh, with you know uh, the BIM needs so you have the intelligent uh, data exchange with with civil 3d you earn uh, faster design uh, approval so here is a point i didn't uh, highlight a lot but basically what i mean here is that you are able to generate uh, you know the calculation notes and the reports that you want to show your client or your, you know, your water utility, uh, you're able to uh, to actually have your templates suitable to you and your uh, client, and, and that that earns you very uh, very neat, very quick approval at the end. You don't need to go and, and type and, and redo things on the report. The last thing you can do is is you export to uh, InfoWorks ICM uh, with you know to do the the modeling if you need to do uh, you know more of that uh, you know detailed uh, modeling on the storm and sewer uh, flood and as well as riverside. So these are the, just the, the points that you can, uh, you know, uh, get out of today. I wanted to show uh, just a, an example of, uh, you know, of, of a case study with designing with SUDS. Uh, really, the aim here was to solve an, a recurrent issue in, in, you know, North London. Uh, you know, you always end up having this kind of uh, situation with, with the rain. Uh, it's an area that is very hard to operate on. Uh, and and you know uh, you, you want to uh, you know uh, you know get 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 this uh, you know get this trial this this such design and see if it works. And instead of relying on this again the traditional engineering, there were 15 rain gardens that were positioned around this this area to basically uh, absorb the flow and guide the, the rainfall, as well as uh, capture and treat the storm water. So we had like filter in there. There was filter, and then it will. Uh, Basically, filter that, that rainwater, and you know you can discharge it to to uh, I think for here it was discharged to the river. It was award-winning uh, case study, but uh, you know you can maybe uh, in areas where you don't have the water, you can maybe uh, discharge it to a tank or, or get get this a uh, non-conventional uh, water uh, uh, resource. Now previously the area would flood with about 80 millimeter of rain in, in only one hour, and today uh, you know this this area can almost get double of that, uh, you know, accommodate for double of that and, and then for, and, you know, you increase your, your flood resilience and, and moving from really uh, this picture and to the other picture. Again, the, the quality is, is increased, the biodiversity is increased, the amenity is increased. So these are one of some of the things that you can do uh, and you can do and you can do very well with uh, inside uh, uh, info drainage. So when it comes specifically to info drainage, these are the five key takeaways that I have summarized. So of course you can effectively track different aspects of the drainage design across multiple packages. As Hassanin said that if it is CAD based, you can import it as intelligent, you, it's bi-directional so that you can do your designs and send it to and forth across civil 3D and info drainage in this case. That in turn helps you to reduce time and rework because you don't want to keep exporting to formats that are either redundant or not compatible with other solutions or whatever it may be. So the transitioning of data across different solutions is much more streamlined. Design compliance, I think any engineer is on board with this because when we do our calculations, we need to make sure that it's up to spec. So you can easily check that out. You can express your technical information much more simplified to stakeholders. So Whoever you're submitting your water approvals, designs, master plans, and so on to, they can visualize it and understand it, interpret it much more better. And last but not least, is systematically create SUDS. So if you recall, last year we had the EMISA conference I presented there. SUDS was a very hot, hot topic there uh, because we're trying to do things much more naturally, sustainably, and SUDS is a big part of helping us deal with water in our industry. So the complexity of it, the design process, it can be tackled much more systematically with info drainage as part of InnoBus.
from a full length and breadth solution. If you are in the water industry, these are the solutions and the industries attached to them. So you can see we've got water resources for dams and canals, drainage, water distribution, storm sewer and flooding, as well as water, wastewater and industrial. So whether you're on the planning and design, which is mostly the, on the consultant side, build again, consultant and uh, contractor, as well as operations and facilities management, digital twinning, the full length and breadth of these solutions all intertwine quite nicely. So that's how it fits in. Of course, today we just had a quick snippet on info drainage and civil 3D, but it can be expanded much more in depth. And we didn't have enough time to actually go into like step by step. So we just wanted to give a quick overview of the solutions where Innovise fits in, especially after the acquisition, how it ties in, and you can see the solution map on your screen. And if you want to drill it in a bit more in depth, as was shown previously, drainage design, info drainage. If you want to go on to the storm, sewer, and flooding, flooding part of things, info works, water distribution, asset management, water, wastewater, as well as operation analytics. So from inception to operations and management is a solution that we can actually apply to ensure that we create resilient infrastructure. All right, so how can we help you on this um, quest for BIM for smart infrastructure? All right. So as you know, here at Baker Bands, we this is what we believe in. It's our, we want to help you solve your problems through digital transformation, helping you to design and make a better world. Now, there's three ways that we can sum it up quite simply that we could help you. The first one is, of course, help you getting started. You can upskill you and your teams, and this can be done either by training courses and, of course, reaching out to us directly. Training, especially with be it in person or virtual, really, really impactful because normally when we are self-taught, sometimes we might get to the same place, but the route, the journey to that might be much longer. So to do things much more efficiently and correctly, trading is definitely recommended. The second one being the workflows. So there's always a development in workflows, solutions, technologies, and we will actually help you to explore those workflows and apply it in your industry, in your department, in your environment. Some of these are of an advanced nature, so you might need a bit of basics on or fundamentals on the tools that you are inquiring about so that you can uptake the workflows that's much more easier but of course again we can always have a chat about that and we have something specifically dedicated to this we call it the Baker Bain specialist series and it's tailored to your needs last but not least is of course project based my favorite one where we could guide you and your teams in applying BIM technologies on a specific project so we look at this as a BIM consulting and implementation uh, type of scenario so you would select a project and we could formulate a plan and we can tackle it together as a team. Uh, definitely one of my favorite ones. Right. Of course, we also are creating our own learning platform. It's transformation tools where a lot of our webinars like the one we are having here today is going to be uploaded there. We've got a lot of cool content, so be it ebooks, guides and content, online courses, videos, webinars, all created with, uh, by our local professionals here in different uh, industries as have been highlighted previously. So go have a look at it. It's a really, really impactful tool, especially if you are an industry professional. And that's just a quick snapshot of what's currently there. It's currently being updated constantly with a lot of cool content to help you uh, empower yourself as a professional here, especially in South Africa. So if you want to reach out to us directly, this is our Baker Baines handles online. So our website, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as well as YouTube. So you're more than welcome to follow us or reach out to us directly. We are very vocal on all of these platforms. And you'll always see really cool, innovative solutions that we are proposing and pitching. So it's really cool to keep up to breast with industry trends and so on. And of course, thank you, Hassanin, for presenting and joining us here today, sharing your expertise on Innovise. Okay. And yeah, it was a great having you, and we wish you all a great day further. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, everybody.